All right, guys and girls, this right here is going to change the game. With this piece right here, you are going to open up the possibility to charge in a lot more places. All right, so this is probably going to be a really long ride. I am going to document the ride on the Relive app. Relive app will keep things like uh, total distance, elevation, as well as my top speed. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm hoping you can. I am not fully charged. I'm at 82.6 volts. I am riding the Onyx RCR, which is powered by powerful lithium. I'm running a 72 volt, 50 amp power battery. And um, I've taken on long distance rides before. I've had much success. Today, we're going to do a long distance ride. We're going to try and show you the uh, possibilities to expand your EV charging by using a Tesla adapter. And if you're interested, just check the, the description below. I'll provide you guys with a link as to how you can get yourself something like that. But it works in conjunction with the JS, I'm sorry, with the J1772, as well as a charger that runs off of 220 volts. All right, just keep that in mind. Anyway, Relive app is on. I'm on my way. I'm going to hook up with my boy Santito and uh, come with us for this ride. It should be fun. All right, I just met up with Electric Santito. What's up, my brother? What's up, buddy? Where are we headed to today? We're going down to Sandy Hook uh, to put our feet in the sand for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the weather has been a lot nicer, so you guys can expect longer rides. And that's what we're doing right now today. We're taking a long ass ride. How many miles do you think? I want to say about 60 something miles one way. Yeah, that's awesome. And stay tuned. I think Johnny's wearing a bikini. <laughs> all, right. all right just 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 for the record uh tell me what you're riding and the the voltage that you're at right now because i left my house i was not fully charged i think it was 82.6 or 82.8 i'm at 81 volts right now where are you at right i'm at now? the same 81 volts 81 volts i'm running the 50 amp hour powerful lithium battery 51 amp no 51 amp 51 yeah. amp hour yes. Powerful lithium. Powerful lithium. 72 yeah. volts. All right, so... A kilowatt motor, 72, 680, far driver controller. All right, sounds good. All right, so I guess we're ready. Let's get out of here. At this point, we will mount up and we are on our way. That right there is the Bay End Bridge. That's what I'm always taking when I go visit the boys over at Powerful Lithium. We're starting this journey in Staten Island, working our way into New Jersey, and the bridge we'll be crossing is the Gothos Bridge. You'll see that coming up now. First stop, we are on the Gothos Bridge right now. There's no cargo ship containers coming, so we are safe. Or at least on this side, we're safe. I have been running approximately 7.4 miles. I am at 80.8 volts. So about 7.6 miles. 79.9 maybe? 79, okay. Is that what you want? No. I'm at 80.8. 80.8, almost 81. But remember, uh, Something to take into consideration. The uh, Onyx RCR has three modes. Eco, which is what you'd get the most miles out of, but you'll also only be running at 20 miles an hour. Normal mode, which is the mode that I'm in now, I can reach speeds of 40 miles an hour, which I think is, is good for this trip that we're going on. And then there's sport mode that'll take you up to a supposed uh, 60 miles per hour. Um, Santito only has one mode that I know of, right? Oh, yeah, I don't have the mode switch. I can get it, but I don't have it yet. So he's probably in like a sport mode right now. So he might consume a little bit more battery than I will. But with that being said, let's get back to the ride. We 
doing much better time than our last two. To the different routes this time. So we have reached our destination uh, just to give you guys a little bit of an update uh, I'm at 70 volts which is great let's see what the real live app is telling me uh, I have hit a total of 52.1 miles we've been riding for about three hours stopped once to, to pee uh, we are at the Mule Tavern uh, food here is great. They got outdoor seating and they have a place to charge just in case you guys want to come. All right, how about you, Santito? Where you at? I'm at 70 volts. 70 volts? Just like me. All right, that's not bad. All right, so we're going to fuel up our bellies. I waited, I waited a year to come back. Big mistake. All right, so I don't even remember what I got, but it's rigatoni, chipotle, chicken. That's what's filling up this belly and is that a chicken sandwich? Chicken yeah, burger? Uh, chimichurri. Chimichurri. Oh, it still looks good. Time to eat. All right, so we ate. We just about suited up. Now we're going to look for a charging station so we can get a full charge to make it back home. And it's back to the ride. time trying to find a vacant supercharging system from uh, Tesla to utilize that new adapter so look for I guess a, a future video so we can touch base on that topic uh, right now we're at a charge point over here I'm plugged in Santitos plugged in which are gonna try to get to a full charge before we head back home ah, my top ESC got a little dirty today oh that's from the bike trail that we hit I think the bike trail is the worst part of this ride because you ride really slow on some bumpy terrain. All right, so where I'm at, I am looking at, uh, I'm charging at 18.7 amps. Uh, we're gonna stay here for as long as we can to get fully charged. And let's check the relive app. How many miles have we put in? And on the relive app, it tells us we've traveled 62 miles so far. All right, so from here at a full charge, we're looking at about 40 miles to get back home. Probably put in about 100 miles today. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> you look like a little kid in the, in the backyard of a school and shit. Yo, my man, what you doing over there? Are you plotting out a road back for us? Trying Something to, that eliminates bike trips. Trying to figure this out. <laughs> when you run out of things to do while you're charging. All right, so we spent about an hour and a half here. Total cost was $1.81. I'm up to 82.2 volts. What, what's your voltage? I'm at 81. 81. All right, so you figure for two bikes, so two bikes from about 70 volts to almost a full charge, it only costs $1.81. So if you're gonna use this type of a charging station to charge your bike when you're on the road, just find something to do. It's gonna take up that much time. Don't do like me, and lie down on the sidewalk. But anyway, we are running out of time, so it's time to hit the road. And this video will soon come to an end. Oh, it was a long and bumpy road, but we are back where it all began. With one full charge, I'm sure we can make it a little further. Next trip, Asbury Park. Ooh, yeah. All right, so this is the point where we say goodbye. 
We're on a total of 101 miles so far and I'm not even home yet. When I get home, I'll give you an update as to how many miles I actually completed. But Santito, I had a lot of fun. Until our next Holy. adventure. 101, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> if you enjoyed what you saw, please don't hesitate and smash the like button. Leave a comment, I'll get back to everybody. And if you want to, please subscribe to the next video. Peace out, everybody. Another long one, 104.7 miles today. Woo!